Now I know what you're thinking. Is Final it? Fantasy? Is that not the game with the Goofy in it? No. Final Fantasy is one of the best games I've ever played. I've been playing it for months now, and let me tell you, the only thing goofy about this game is the stunts I pull. I've been known to engage in some mild tomfoolery on occasion. And when I first heard of it, I thought I'd hate it. Cause, in my fantasy game, <laughs> children, in my fantasy game, cat girls. Ah, that one's alright. <laughs> and until last year, I genuinely thought the aforementioned Goofy was a staple of the Final Fantasy franchise. Turns out, he's actually from a different game. What? But the vibe and art style still never really seemed like my thing. But I've never been more wrong. I love this game, man. Since I have the number one most important opinion on the internet, I figured I'd grab that pretty little head of yours and shove my new favorite no! game into those eyeballs. I already got so, it. So, from the lovable developers to the shocking realization that you've been on copium for years, today I take you through my adventures in Final Fantasy XIV. And what got me so invested so quickly? Rabbit girls. Our journey begins here, okay. in Uldar, a city That's run by fair. the two most evil groups in society. Tyrannical politicians who would do anything for coin, and short people. Your first impression of Lala Fell might be the same as any other small race. Cutesy, played by 40-year-old men, and an awkward bus ride if you're scrolling through Twitter in public. Wow. However, Lala Fell... Uh, don't be misled, my view. I'm a little bit blown away by the incredible editing here. Like, are you kidding me? Look at this. The bus ride with the, uh, with the phone? What? Is, like, this is super, super good editing. old men, and an awkward bus ride if you're scrolling through Twitter in public. Nice. However, Lala fell. Uh, don't be misled, my viewers. They may have a thin veil of cuteness, but their evil knows no bounds. <laughs> Yeah, stop petting me! I reveal to you the secret of all Lalafell players. The smaller you are, the bigger other races are. <laughs> <laughs> so with my cute face, complete oh lack of ethics, and desire to get a 20 minute sponsored video out without playing Beep. I pulled up my boots and set out into the city to make something of myself. So I went to my mum for help. She said I should make some friends and get a fucking job. So in my bid for power, I began handing out cakes to the local guards, which were definitely not poison. Stop asking questions. <laughs> Until it came to my attention that the princess had gone missing. <laughs> How awfully convenient. Surely whoever would save her must be held in high regard. <laughs> what a lucky opportunity for me to prove myself. <laughs> I decided that I would help find the princess. So I opened my map and started running towards her exact location. And that is when I saw her. Oh my god! <laughs> no. Fear not, princess. Because I am here! Oh my god. Alright, this, this is, is Anonymous this voice. This is so over the top, like I can't even handle it. I don't know how I ended up here, but thank you for saving me, Rabad. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like, how'd you get here? Huh, ladies. This guy. Okay. Would you like this rock? <laughs> think. Feel. Think. <laughs> Mommy. Bro, what the fuck? It was then that I was invited <laughs> to a feast with the royals of Old Dar. That's how I feel when people in the chat started calling me mommy. Like, we, we had to actually shut that down. And I graciously accepted my Stop. growth and political power. Once again, you'll be happy to know that Technoblade is now safe in her own castle. I was hoping to network, but the best seat I could get was next to her dad. And all he wanted to talk about was the war five years ago, where countless lives were lost because of the Asian slash uh, fucking uh, the moon. Which is weird, because I killed one of these guys like 15 minutes ago. That's right, this ancient powerful being was no match for me. A regular, ordinary adventurer. Damn, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> you gonna finish that? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> he is special. <laughs> Mommy. And so Thancred brought me to his friends. <laughs> the Squines of the Seventh Dawn. Meet our heroes. I have awaited your coming. The one everyone hates, except <laughs> for, um, the ones everyone should hate. Welcome! Okay. The guy whose dialogue doth ye skip. The E-Boy. I never doubted that you'd come. E-Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Meow. 
<laughs> and this guy, but we'll get to him later. Together they form the scones of the seventh dawn. And the primary the goal of this organization is to kill the primals, which are demigods summoned by various tribes around the world. <laughs> primals usually just wait, mind- wait, 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 wait. Primals usually- <laughs> What? Summoned by various tribes around the like, please let this be the next Unreal fight. The world primals usually just mind control anyone that doesn't have your powers because this lovely curvy lady has given you the power to remember things. So it turns out all of those blackouts I had were actually a good thing and not damaging my brain. And so you team up with the members of the Shallots of the Seventh Dawn, but mostly this guy who is 16, internet? You make wonderful friends. Use your power for good. And... <laughs> and to tell you any more would spoil things, but trust me, the story in this game is very good, and I like it a lot. Now this can be a very social game, which means you're gonna be meeting a lot of new people. So it doesn't sound like he's very, so very far into the story. So like, I, I guess we won't expect a lot of spoilers in here. This game can have quite a twisty story with many plot points that can be easily spoiled. Oh no, there's a spoiler, mm. there's a spoiler, I think we go, no. Those seem like conflicting qualities. While I admit it can be a little stressful dodging spoilers on my Twitter timeline, this game does this combo the best that I think any game possibly could. And the community, generally, is super anti-spoiler. The only things I've had spoiled were kinda minor and were kind of accidents. And oh annoying no. as spoilers are. Yeah, uh, be careful of Twitter, especially with N Walker coming out. I think all it's gonna be a complete free for all with spoilers whenever N Walker is out. Be careful, be careful. I am a streamer. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So I probably have it worse. You've probably already played it, or it's probably only gonna be about as bad as oh, dude. Dude, wait for Heaven's Ward. <laughs> it gets so good at Heaven's Ward. It gets so good. But yeah, spoilers. Bad. Hate them. Now, back to the story. I'll be taking my payment. Thank you for slaying the primals, but there is more work to be done. And you will do it. And so I ventured forth as the hero I am, ready to save the world. What? Wait, what? What is that melody? You're dancing. My god, they're dancing. What are those faces doing? They're smiling. The people were having fun. Oh, and the music. The music was super copyrighted. And as new as I was to the game, that was sort of the first moment where it clicked. I spent the rest of the night taking screenshots with the pals. Look at this guy, he's playing a male character in a video game. <laughs> it's a feeling I hadn't felt in a while. Next. For the next week, I farmed the golden source of free. That was it for I think me. I like it here. Oh, look, there's a racing game. Sweet, I got bunny ears. Now I can focus on getting a cool outfit. Please, save us. The primals are coming. Did somebody say Palace of the Dead? Sounds pretty cool. Crafting jobs doesn't sound cool, but somehow is. I could have sworn there was something I was supposed to be doing right now. It's very easy to get sidetracked in this game. I think that's a discovery we all make along the way. Mom, Dad, I have something to tell you. I decided to quit my job as a hero and become a dancer. A dancer? Well, the party buffs are useful. No, father. Like this! One of the best parts about this game is that there's so many definitions of endgame. There's your usual solo content or rating or whatever. But under little rocks here and there, people create songs, dance routines, fashion, interior design, mm -hmm. economic domination. Some of the most hardcore players I've met are high-end ultimate raiders. And yet, they are mere insects beneath the boots of role players. What? The penultimate form of a Final Fantasy player. Logging on daily to take cute screenshots and dance. I gotta and say, like, like I do appreciate how much love the role-playing community has gotten lately. With all these people coming to Comics Routine, it seems like something that... In almost every single video that I've seen from people coming over to the and game... And not even a joke. Uh, that's <laughs> one thing everybody, every single person has mentioned, is how welcoming and awesome the role-playing community is. Having has been. done a couple raids, it's not like the raids are bad either. It's actually some of the most fun I've ever had raiding. It's just you have a choice now. The driving force is fun. Nothing is mandatory and yeah. everything is encouraged. 
Because to make a fantasy world feel real, you need your sweaty adventurers and your made cat girl photography enthusiasts. Now I think it's about time I got round at killing those primals. Or <laughs> I could do something better. What if I told you that me, the best mage player in the whole world, the betrayer of guilds, found an even greater foe? This content would make even the most experienced raiders quake with fear. That's right. I decided oh, is it Cape to try and buy a house. Oh. But there's a few catches <laughs> with buying houses. Firstly, there's a finite a number of houses on any server. There's just under 400,000 oh, houses in all of Final Fantasy, which is not a lot when you consider the player count. And slots only become available when someone doesn't log in for 45 days. I'll tell you about the second catch in a moment. It's a big one. <clears throat> Attention, everybody. There is a fucking house for sale. I ran to the plot, looked around a little, and I hovered over the purchase button. Was this truly where I wanted to live? <laughs> yes. This would do nicely. So I clicked purchase. No. Oh. No. So here's the second catch. At some point in a 24 hour period, the house will randomly become available for sale. Oh. Meaning, to acquire a house, you have to repeatedly do this and hope that you're the person that purchases the house yeah. the moment it becomes available randomly in a 24 hour period. Yeah. Yes, really. Yes, really. <sighs> I don't have time for this. I give up. Now, now, that's not the pint I know. <laughs> well, I guess there is one thing I could do. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of, no, no, no. What, what, what is it? <laughs> I, could, uh, I, could, I could exploit the working class. Meet wife havers. Oh, the things we do together. The I thought he was going to say, well, I could use a boss. <laughs> a sweet march right after you guys buy a house, <laughs> you know, for the guild. <laughs> we had two people around the clock clicking a placard and the rest of us would sit there to make it seem like there was more competition than there was to scare off potential competitors it was truly a chance for us all to bond a learning experience oh my god and what i learned in this what? experience is that my friends are fucking psychopaths this is job she was there for 40 hours over four days oh how do i know this only the fucking google doc we created to track the hours what? count the plot opening times and to see how close we were to committing human rights violations now now keep camping you wouldn't want to go back to torgast would you after about three <laughs> days though one of our happy little campers <laughs> discovered something something that would blow this case wide open take a look at this chart this yep just, turns out in the first this eight this is not okay this is not normal it's not okay hours the chances of a plot opening are basically zero and for the creamy most efficient strat possible you want to click in this four hour window ah yes only four short hours of clicking as luck would have it on the dawn of the fourth day during prime time i sent jub a very funny meme and she tabbed out for a moment to look at it <gasps> no the house no it sold no no psych we bought the house oh, okay. it was us it was us it was our backup clicker there's always a backup oh my clicker. god oh my god that was to call that home. was an emotional roller coaster i wasn't ready for and we relocated him i was so in i'm so invested in them getting this house because the goblet <laughs> say it with me is for broadcast bitches oh my god all right. Ah, so Final Fantasy, huh? Crazy to think that it was always fucking here. It has been very refreshing. And at the risk of sounding a bit too serious, it's taught me a lot of valuable things about myself. Trying new things, being a nicer person. <laughs> I've got a bunch of new friends, way less stress. And honestly, man, just kind of a better outlook on life. I don't think it's just the game that's done that, but still, I'm happy. Plus, I got this house. Wow! That's so wholesome! Oh my god, that's so sweet! <laughs> awesome. Again, like, it, have you noticed a recurring theme from all these people that are coming over to Final Fantasy XIV? We have consistently seen, usually at the end of every video, there's someone saying something along the same lines of like, wow, it's actually, it's changed my, it's not just been fun, but it's also changed my outlook. Like it's, I feel like I'm a nicer person. I've had so many people in the chat tell me that as well. 
Just like uh, just the other day, uh, somebody in the Discord chat was talking about how they were looking back on a video I made about the community a long time ago and talked about how um, just playing Final Fantasy XIV for long enough, they felt like they had changed and that they had become less hostile, that they had become just more friendly in general. And uh, yeah, thank you for thank you for putting that uh, link to this video in the chat. This is the video I just watched from Pint. It was awesome. I enjoyed it so much. And uh, oh my god, like I'm actually blown away by the quality of the editing here. Like the editing was just top notch all throughout a whole 15 minute video. I absolutely loved it. It was super cool. Super cool. More, please. I would like to see more.